Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where today we're gonna be I'm gonna be showcasing a new mod, the Troll Crafters mod, which is a mod that lets you become a troll hunter and basically lets you play out the story. So everybody here should know what's troll hunters. It's like one of the best series in the world. So I don't have to explain what is what. I just need to show you guys the mod. Okay, so first we have the essential things, then we have the mobs, and then we have the new update. And this comes with the new update. So um, let's start with the basic, um, the Amulet of Daylight. Okay, so if no one knows, everybody should know by now that there's an Amulet of Daylight. And um, for me, it's, well, it is the most important thing. And... Um, Let's just show it off. So first, you want to transform. The default key is R. So, and here it says, "Daylight is mine to command." Um, well, it should it's supposed to say for the glory of Merlin, but yeah, uh, it's a mod work in progress. So, I'm gonna leave in the link. I'm gonna leave in the. Uh, I can't speak today. I'm gonna leave. The link of the mod, the mod creator, shoutouts to him, and um, let's continue. So um, then if you press X, you will get the sword, which is amazing, so cool, and also amazing, so uh, I already said amazing, didn't I? Yeah. So then you press C again to transform, to put... Well, how would I say this? Let's just say D-transform. That's simple. Okay, so... Now we're gonna start with this, so... There is a glitch in the mod. The stones do not, like, stay together. So, what you wanna do is... Well, you can't get them in survival yet. So, I'm just gonna show them off one by one. And I'm gonna copy them just to make sure. So, we're gonna do... We're gonna just press R, and there is a new key, and it's, well, I changed it, and the default key is V for me, and it gives me the glaives. So, the glaives um, are new to the mod, and uh, basically what they do, you can throw them, and you can attack with them. They have um, 9 attack damage, that is amazing. And I say let's just first we'll test I'll show you guys everything here, then we'll use it against these mobs. So um see and as you see the stone is not here, so I do recommend copying the stone before using them. So then I'll act we'll use the kill stone and well Y'all guys will see what the kill stone does. So copy them. You might want to put the birthstone as well after you use the kill stone. It's only fair. Um, and then we just transform and it gives us a shield. And hey, I still have the glaze. So the shield doesn't really do much now. It just um, defends. You, like, if you just, like, do this, wait. you see how it just, like, my perspective just went, like, a little more. That means you're protected. It doesn't last long, but it is very useful. Okay, so, um, now, all stones always disappear. Now, Gunmar's Eye. So, Gunmar's Eye does... Is um it gives you basically gives you a shield a well not a shield a helmet. The helmet is um not perfectly in like it doesn't like it's not proper but it is it works okay. So if you press X and you press it again, you take it off. This one is like partially leaves it on. My skin is not 
connect to this so it will not work beautifully but yeah if you want a helmet to protect you more there you got it okay so now let's just now something I want to show you guys that happens if you have all stones together and that is um, the eclipse armor so if you don't know at the end of season one if you um Jim got the eclipse armor and because he had all three stones so if you press shift R you get the eclipse armor and also you get eclipse eclipse glaives and a shield so all of this is very cool and amazing also you get the eclipse sword you can also the shield same thing it's just eclipse version and this is amazing and all you, and if you press r the armor will go back but i don't want to do that right now so i'm going to show you the rest of this after i show you guys something so i spawned right next to a wild wood if you want to find this because this is the only place you can get the bridge kilohead bridge to get to go to um, uh, the dark land all you have to do is just slash locate biome and then you just have to do troll crafters and then you put wild wood and it will locate the nearest wild wood so there's a reason um that it's only wild wood um Ignore all of these um, stone um, creatures. Let me, let me remind you that um, daylight equals this. So yeah. Also, they're causing so much lag. There's so much mobs. Why are there so much mobs? Okay, I fixed it. Okay, now all we have to do is just put the amulet in like the this part. And it opens the portal. Let, let me show you what's in there so far. So, so far, it's not much. Um, it does have, um, like, these... What is this called again? Um, dark land stone. Oh, it's literally just dark land stone. And what it does, it's, it slows you down. Here you'll find lots of gum gums, but I can't show you them yet. Um... There's water. I don't know what why there's water. There, there isn't supposed to be water. There's also blood goblins. I'm gonna show you guys those later. Um, let's go. Okay, so remember, this portal, after it, like, um, teleports you back, it won't, like, spawn you there or in your bed. It will, it will go to the spawn point, the main spawn point. So I do recommend, um, going near the main spawn point. Okay, now that we're done with this, after I press C, all of th all of this will disappear. The stones will not be aligned. I forgot the amulet. But so also I do recommend um reminding to take off the amulet because it will close this portal and you do not want it like on. So as you see guys, there is nothing. I'm gonna sh there was something there, I'm gonna show you it later. But not now. Not now. Okay, and now I'm now guys I need to show you what should I show you now? Okay, the shadow staff and the warhammer. So let me just um put this here. Okay, so the Warhammer, it doesn't do really much. It only does one attack damage. The Shadow Staff does two. I don't understand why. This is a Warhammer. Okay, so the only thing it does, it like, it, it lets you glide. Um, I feel that. So it's like an Elytra. So you, you just... Get off it. I keep messing up.
Okay, for some reason, this is not working for me. So, um, yeah, it just lets you glide. Let's just stay there, and now the um, Shadow Staff. So, when you first have it, it's gonna appear like a little block thingy, but you have to right-click to get the actual thing. And after you get the like whole thing, you can um, right click. Well, like, why, why is why is it not working for me anymore? It's actually not working for me. Okay, that doesn't matter. It's probably a glitch of the game. Don't worry. By the time the mod gets updated again. It will probably be fixed, so understand that what it does is it makes portals. You can go through the portals, and you can go to the um. What? Well, how is it called again? I'm gonna just call it the place where you can find no shadows, but it's a shadow. Y'all guys should know what I mean. Okay, after that confusing thing. I think I've showed everything. Okay, I'm just gonna now start with the mobs. So, let's start with gum gums, trolls. So remember, all of the all everything here that that is a troll, including Gunmar, will die to sunlight. So, if you want a pet, if you want a friend, troll, do not put them in sunlight. Also, the sort of daylight will turn them into stone, except for Gunmar. So, yeah, only this sort of daylight. And something else, but I can't spoil it. Okay, so let's... Let's just show how strong we are against these guys. Okay, so... It's so funny, I literally just turned them into stone. Okay, so remember, when it does turn into, and also these guys will fight, because they're not friends. But this guy will always win, because he's stronger. Okay, so there are three types of trolls. This guy, these guys, they're like the simple trolls. These, that's the same thing. These guys, and these guys. Now there's a lot of you. Die, die. You almost die. You guys must die. Okay, now let's. What else? Um, there's all. There's on. Um, there's gnomes. Hi, gnome. Hi. It doesn't really do much. Except he's. He does attack. But remember, you can't turn the gnome, gnome into stone. You can only turn trolls. Now let's start with goblins. These guys are ruthless. If you attack one, you attack all. Now let's still go with blood goblins. They're like a worse version. They're like worse, just worse. Did he die? Nope. Okay, let's just ignore that. So as you see, only trolls turn into stone. Anything else will not. Dude, just die. Thank you. Okay, so now we will go on to Gunmar. So he's not like the hardest to beat. Well, he's definitely not the hardest to beat. But, you do, you cannot defeat him with anything else but the Eclipse Armor. Only the, the Eclipse Armor can defeat him. So, also guys, there are three new stones I want to show you guys. There are from the new update, but this is the only time I'll be able to show you them. Because they only work with this amulet. Okay, so, now, I have the three Triumphic Stones. 
but now there's the frost stone it gives you boots that are frost that are frost walking um, the ender stone which lets you teleport the heat stone which makes you immune to fire we shift R and we have him okay so you see we have these which give us frost walker X um, and teleporting you see also this just gives us fire resistance and I'm pretty sure you can teleport with this okay so the teleport part I do not remember but I do know that you have to get the ender stone from killing well the ender dragon and getting his eye there's a lot of eyes okay so let me just show you so first we want to turn time tonight because it he will turn to stone as well okay there we go and there he is gunmar so any other sword will not anything else will not do him enough damage to kill him he will regenerate in, in like lots of seconds since i do have the eclipse armor um, it is doing some damage. The Eclipse Sword is the only thing that can do damage. Any other, like... Any other sword will not do him damage. So, let's fight him. Gunmar, you miss me? Um, so let me remind you, just because you have the Eclipse Sword does not mean that he will be easy to kill. He does have lots of that parts. But as you can see, my sword is doing lots of damage. Depend on the crit. The crits. Do you not have crits? Okay, let's just uh, do this for like eight hours. Okay, that took way too long. Um, so that's Gunmar for you guys. Okay, so I think we have gone over the mobs and the essential things. So So the new update is basically Troll Hunters like a little bit of Troll Hunters um well, the movie, and um, in that time, Jim lost his this amulet, and they made him a new one. Also, I was about to show you these guys because um, you need. Yeah, this is like the only amulet I could find, which is not available. You have to get it using commands, and you have to put. If you put the stones in it, and you like, just copy it, yeah. But, we won't, we won't be using this, this was destroyed. And now we, we were given this one, also I want to show you the Staff of Babylon. And now, first I, I think I should, guys, show you this. So this is an Ender Dragon Eye. So to make, um make like um the stone that is used for the amulet to give it its power you need to use this okay so you go here you put the staff of Babylon there you put this here you put this here I want to copy this and then you just press craft and it will make the daylight crystal which is used um well, here it says, a pure daylight used to forge the troll hunter's sword and armor, and yet. But, this was also destroyed. Also, this does like, 11 attack damage. This isn't bad. But, that is no longer needed. So we have, um, this, which, um, need, requires the green crystal to activate. But, as you see, it does not work as yet. So, um... Actually, let me make it daytime. Trolls are no longer um, 
care in this part of the movie so we should and i've already showed them off so it doesn't matter if they um turn into stone okay so there is something i want to show you and it's right here and that is the so as you see this is um excalibur and it's right so cool um okay so you you have to, you have to take it off and you can use it but there's one thing um this will work with the amulet like let me show you guys what i'm talking about actually this probably won't work with the amulet so let me get the working version of the amulet and um it says for the good of all daylight is mine to command and it's it works the same as the first version without the stones it it doesn't work with the stones as you see i cannot open it and it uses Acradian tech and trope and well wizardry magic and you see how cool it is but this sword does not work with it it will give you a better version of it as you see this is king arthur's this is troll hunters excalibur one shot trolls we'll see about that we'll see okay so i got this guy and let's see it turns him into stone and it kills him but as i said it will not work with Gunmar. As you see, this sword is doing absolutely nothing to him. So yeah. So, what, guys, let's just take a time to admire this, like, so beautiful. Like, you see, like, it's like amazing, it looks cool, like, the amulet, like, places better. And let me just say this does not have any like abilities it only has excalibur doesn't have much and it works the same way as the old one maybe if troll hunters had a new series or another movie or another season we would have more but sadly it ended forever hopefully not and yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. So guys, if you indeed have enjoyed, like, subscribe, check out the mod, give a ton of support to the mod creator so he can make this mod even better. See you guys next time. Good.